Hello, everybody. Today's subject is a matter of concern to all of us. All educated people, we must know, understand, think, and give our views about what will be the future with AI, AI that is artificial intelligence, how humanity would be protected. There comes our United Nations, the United Nations goals, and rightly, we all educationists here have assembled to interact on the subject. Now, uh, I believe that uh, Glenn Martin is uh, yet to join us. I, we would have been happy for his opening remarks, but I go over to Honorable Hemlata Talisra, Madam, to deliberate her opening remarks on the subject. Please, Hemlata, Madam. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Usha C. Honorable Dr. <laughs> Dashora, the expert speaker, today's chairperson, Dr. Usha C. Guha, Dr. Reena Unial, the panelist, dignitaries, panel members, and attendees. I am presenting my views on the impact of artificial intelligence on humanity. The 21st century has the biggest achievement of artificial intelligence. Eight, artificial intelligence program think, act and work like a human where they can solve problems quickly and much faster. From meaning Morning to night, artificial intelligence technology derives much of what we do when we wake. Many of us reach to mobile phone or laptop to start their day. From healthcare to entertainment and from transportation to education, the impact of artificial intelligence is vast. It increasingly a part of our everyday life when it we do not don't always notice it. To see the impact of artificial intelligence on the total humanity, there is a need to discuss more again and again. So that's why we are arranging the second panel discussion. Before I start my presentation, I want to discuss the origin of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is the result of the event in 1956. A young computer scientist named John McCarthy organized a summer conference entitled Artificial Intelligence in Dartmouth University Honover, Hampshire, New England. A group of scientists from several professions had begun to discuss the potential of developing an artificial brain before that particular time. The discipline of artificial intelligence study arose as a result of the event. The 21st century is the biggest achievement of AI, where AI technology is advancing at a fast pace. Scientists worked harder. Many 
new and exciting discoveries were made. My PPT is based on the impact of artificial intelligence in task forming society. It refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are designed to think and work like humans. Artificial intelligence has the ability to learn more experience, make decision to learn and perform tasks that typically required human intelligence. Transportation represents an area whose artificial intelligence and machine learning are producing major innovations and research. And artificial intelligence make positive impact in several ways. So my third slide is related to positive impact of artificial in intelligence. And also I mentioned the negative impact my first point is artificial intelligence is playing major role in the digitalization of society. The left process and analyze a large amount of data at a faster rate than ever before. Secondly, the use of artificial intelligence in smartphone technology has grown rapidly in recent years. Artificial intelligence powered personal assistants like Google assistants, Siri assistants, and uh, Samson Webby. So this is have become a staple of many people's daily lives. AI is running on smartphone behind the scenes of variety of use causes enforcing and rescue words to help us to take the better photograph understanding a different language identify music assist with gaming this is known as own device all and language translation also uh, better life ensure connecting smart camera natural uses and also a facial recognition recognize it's the member and it will work. And next is online shopping. Artificial intelligence is used in online shopping platform to provide personalized recommendations based on our Boeing and buying history. Next is navigation and traffic. Artificial intelligence is used in apps like Google Maps and ways to analyze real time traffic data, provide the poster routes also. Then email filtering. Artificial intelligence helps to filter out spam emails and even suggesting quick replies in same email platforms. Then securing and fraud detection. AI can identify pattern of prudent activity in banking and online transactions. It can also enhance home security system through facial recognition technology. And the next point is entertainment. 
streaming services like Netflix and Spotify use artificial intelligence is recommended shows, movies, or music based on users, previous viewing or listening habits. Then next is learning and education. Artificial intelligence is used in education through personalized learning platform, which added to a student's strength and weakness. It's also used the automate grading freeing up the four teachers to spend with students. Then social media, artificial intelligence is algorithms. Uh, it is a technology to solve the problems. On social media platforms, analyze free and suggest relevant content on friends. Then next is automated customer service, artificial intelligence chatbots. Chatbots can answer common questions instantly at any time of the day, improving customer's service response times. And next is smart appliances. Artificial intelligence is making household chorus, for example, easier with smart appliances like robot vacuum cleaner, washing machine, or refrigerator that can monitor and automate tasks. And lastly, artificial intelligence ability to analyze vast amount of data and learn from it enables these applications and many more meaning making our lives easier more convenient and reproduction and also artificial intelligence can predict the future and participate what people will need in a variety of fields this can help in planning infrastructure and decision making in addition to artificial intelligence can program to identify threats of human life and the only solution to avoid human errors. It correct mistakes without human assistance and enable intelligence machines didn't depend on the mood of their operators. Allow them to focus on solving a particular case instead of focusing on a complex problem. Artificial intelligence can improve the decision-making process, thereby increasing productivity. Therefore, companies can benefit from artificial intelligence for convenience, reducing their time required for data analysis and in the healthcare also. Uh, Artificial intelligence is used to provide accurate diagnosis way before the disease reached its accurate phase. And, but there are a number of risks also, including things like consumer privacy, consumer privacy. health program, danger to humans and unclear legal regulations. There are a number of disadvantages like high cost in machine creating, no creativity, yes. cannot learning think outside the box, only pre-feed data works, unemployment always chance chat book and robot cannot replace humans, make human lazy, problems, no ethics, no improvement, it is only repeated. So there are a number of uh, positive and a number of negative impact and for artificial intelligence. But in the last, I want to say 
we should use artificial intelligence in the welfare of humanity then and use in proper way so it will be useful for the humanity thank you very much dr usha ji thank you very much because uh, time yeah uh at the outset i would just take one minute thank you very much amrita madam you have almost covered everything and at the outset let me say <clears throat> that, that when the world is running after ai and using ai for positive purposes we cannot lag behind we have to know understand learn what is ai and give it a right correct perspective it's up to us the learned people dr wasif if i am right or wrong please tell me ai is after all a machine it has to be fed with responsibility so we human being who are feeding putting data into it we should put the data in a proper responsible manner rightly hemlata madam said that for good of humanity that is humanitarian perspective has to be considered and we must put an input such that responsibility of the human being is put into ai such that ai gives or writes down essays or documents which lead to human points and these points may lead to good psychological effect on those who are waging war etc etc so it will have a long term effect on humanity hemlata madam you have said it rightly and as my input goes that it is after all responsibility of the human being who can fit into the data in such a way that the regulations that are prepared by ai are the regulations prepared are responsible enough not to add up to the risks of risks of computer using computer data the risk of privacy the risk of other other what do i say other risks relevant to financial institutions social institutions etc etc so in short hemlata madam has touched everything benefits are many and it is high time that we learn the right perspective of it and apply our mind that how responsibly we teachers we educators can contribute to in putting and preparing the material to prepare ai tools thank you very much after hemlata madam can i invite madam reena onyal to put her input scholarly input madam reena onyal please thank you thank you so much dr goha thank you dr hemlata for always believing in me and giving me a chance to present my views in front of the august gatherings and the uh, learned educationist i would uh, like to uh, carry forward the thoughts being uh presented by dr goha when she says that we cannot lag behind as humanity for human beings the progressive way is the best way to move forward and if we compare it with the time uh, to, to the time when humanity or we can say that homo sapiens were growing and moving forward they always wanted to find ways in which they can do things at a faster rate with more convenience and they wanted things to be done in short time and that is the uh, way to progress and especially we can also say that uh, to create new things has become incentive to human progress and in that particular case artificial intelligence is the progress is the innovation human being has been making since uh, some last time and it has made our life very much easier so now please allow me to present my screen so uh, today we are going to talk about the impact of artificial intelligence on humanity and my presentation is divided into four main parts one is introduction the other one is the meaning of artificial intelligence basically and humanity 
then the impact of artificial intelligence on humanity both positive as well as negative i'll try to skip the particular part which dr hemlata talesra ma'am has already discussed and the last part that is the challenges and recommendations and especially in that i would like to talk about ai ethics so when we are talking about artificial intelligence it is designed by humans and demonstrated by machines that means human being and human brain and human intelligence is basically behind it and the principle of human intelligence is used in artificial intelligence we can define it as the way in which machine imitates the human intelligence it also learns the human cognitive abilities and now in the present scenario we are seeing that it may eventually surpass the human intelligence and cognitive abilities too when we say types of ai so there are basically two types of ai one is known as weak ai which is designed to perform a very narrow task here the machine behaves according to the programmed manner whatever is being fed into the machine it uh, um, operates like that only and showcase some human like activities apart from it there is one more that is called as strong ai and now work is being done by various engineers and scientists and educationists to develop the artificial general intelligence now this is the intelligent system which thinks on its own it can train itself from the mistake it can does more complex calculations and can even provide future forecast too and in the coming times it can be programmed to have cognitive capacities basically we always say that human like activities or human activities here cognition is very important and a different part but through the artificial general intelligence the strong ai the programs can be made to have cognitive capacities like human beings too uh, when we are talking about functions of ai because uh, himlata talesra ma'am have already discussed that we have seen the functions of ai in the field of automation automatic cars we say machine learning the language processing as well as robotics automated control speech recognition virtual agents management of decisions peer to peer network and ai optimized hard work these are the basic functions of ai which need not be discussed again and again when we are talking about the impact of ai on humanity that is very much essential to for us to know that what are the different fields related to human beings which are very important for us to understand where the ai is making a lot of impact especially when we are talking about environment the different kind of ecological studies they cannot be done by humans because these are vast and to organize and analyze wide ecological knowledge ai is going to be of great help we are talking about our environment we are talking about the disturbing ecology we are talking about the changing climate and the reasons for that and in that particular field ai is going to help a lot because it needs uh, it needs data gathering from a very uh, very vast space as well as understanding and reaching the conclusions and then uh, then sharing or suggesting some kind of uh changes which can be done to save the environment the protect the environment the other field where ai is very important is agriculture be it harvesting the airborne surveillance remote sensing pest and weed control as well as advisory services i read in a newspaper that artificial intelligence was used in the field of agriculture for more than uh, 300 or so farmers in andhra pradesh and due to that when they were advised about the pest and weed control as well as airborne surveillance their uh, production increased to more than 300% again in the field where we say that government is responsible for allocating the funds uh, as well as uh, the lot of administrative work is to be done by the government so humanity's most valuable asset can be artificial intelligence where it can help to reduce the administrative burdens and also uh, it can raise about uh, some concerns about speeding up and adopting the digital tools in the field of education it is said that ai will create more jobs 
and these particular kind of jobs will require more skills new set of characteristics like imagination creativity and innovation will be required when ai is being included we need such educated and skilled people who not only understand about ai but they are the ones who can think in a creative and innovative manner because all the data all the algorithm which is required to feed in the machines that can be done by human being again in the field of military and defense ai can be used in all the military applications especially when we are talking about cyber defense and satellite imagery analysis in the field of healthcare and medicine ai is going to be a boon and it has been already started it improves the healthcare capacities especially when we are talking about the diagnosis the mri the imagery the radiology and as well as conducting the operations which need more precision and with the help of ai ai more data can be collected with same kind of persons who are suffering from a particular kind of disease that data large number of data can be analyzed and then right diagnosis can be done in a very short time the virtual presence of uh, uh, ai in the form of doctors and nurses it is also going to help the healthcare and the medicine part when we say that uh, how labor market is going to be affected by uh artificial intelligence there was a survey being done by um, by uh, an organization sorry um, i couldn't remember the name i am uh, sorry i couldn't mention but in that it was written that more than 48% people they believe that ai will displace more jobs than it will create but a larger share that is 52% of the people they believed that technology will create more jobs because as artificial intelligence is going to develop and being included in almost every uh, every part or every dimension of human beings life then they it needs it needs more innovation more creativity and more skilled people who can design and use artificial intelligence so many people are believing that by 2025 it will create more jobs as compared to the once it will displace again when we are talking about the manufacturing industry ai can bridge gap between the research findings and the industry practitioners and uh, we all know that in the case of manufacturing industry uh, we uh, mostly see we have seen the videos like that in which a whole assembly machine is fetched and and ai is is required and ai is being used for large production in a very short time and to precision to uh, can we see the next slide ma'am positive oh. impact positive impact okay yes and uh, i have uh, when we are talking about the different kinds of impact the fields in which ai will be utilized by humanity the main positive impact will be fast and accurate diagnosis as we all know that uh, the old people they always need um, some to take care of them the physically challenged people also need uh, some people some assistants who can help them so as we say that dogs and cats are very good healers the pets are required by the people who are left alone so in the same way socially therapeutic robots will be very much helpful in helping the elderly as well as in helping and assisting the ones who have any kind of disability or disease ai based surgical techniques this is again a very positive impact improves radi radiology i already talked about it the, and virtual presence of mechanical professionals for example if there is a patient who is not able to go to a particular doctor covering a long distance then with the help of ai the uh, will the help of ai the doctor sitting at a very distant place can gather can have all the data and then the right kind of diagnosis can be done reliable and self a very safe healthcare can be provided uh, by artificial intelligence because human being has uh, one factor where we say that uh, after working for very long hours we see that fatigue also overcomes their efficiency so the errors related to human beings especially in the case of surgery can be reduced the 
any task can become more accurate autonomous vehicles uh, as we all see when we see drones and automatic cars search engines like google art can be created i i, I was uh, reading in a newspaper that uh, especially in the case of modeling or designing we have seen that uh, or the photographers we have seen that it takes a lot of time for a particular individual to get ready wear all those ornaments and clothes and then photograph uh, can be taken at a particular place the lighting should be appropriate and all but with the help of ai and individual wearing but different kind of jewelry and clothes and all the all the uh, all the specific features which can be considered as very beautiful and attractive ones can be created with the help of ai playing games as we all know chess as well as ai can help as online assistants too but there are some negative impacts too especially when we say negative impact we know that human beings they whenever they work and whenever they are active they they remain healthy too but in case all the machines are doing our work okay so one negative impact is that human beings can become lazy when there are machines and artificial intelligence to understand ourselves and do most of the works we won't be needing many human peoples there will be no need for personal gathering to communicate and it will diminish human closeness as we have seen whenever we are going for an outing to a picnic spot or to a restaurant we see that every individual is engrossed in their own laptops and mobiles and tabs and and they are happy in their own virtual worlds okay mostly whenever we visit any home we see that there are four people and they all are in their own rooms in their own laptop and doing the things whatever they want to see they want to communicate they want to chat they want to send messages the pictures the memes and all so this is going to be a very massive social change so what is the basis of humanity that is human to human interaction face to face interaction the emotional connect uh, the communication and the interaction that is going to be impacted by ai in a very negative way another is unemployment if most of the work will be done with the help of ai with the help of machines there will be requirement of less human labor and it may lead to unemployment in the case of ai those the ones who are uh, who are creating any uh, sort of machine or who are the creators of uh, ai they will or, or they are investing in ai they will get the major share of earnings so there the uh, the difference between uh, poor and wealthy people is going to increase a lot and there may be some time when i was uh, talking about the strong ai ai will reach a level where whatever we have feeded into a machine then it will be able to take decisions by themselves by uh, it, uh, by the machine can take the decision by itself and then it may ignore the commands of the human controller too and that will create a havoc in the same way if the human masters who are creating ai they are biased to certain people or certain race or certain communities so it will create a racial bias and sometimes the command of destruction is being given by any programmer it may create a world disaster we have seen these uh, in in movies they may be movies and somehow but they depict and they predict the future too for example we have seen a movie robot where uh, we have seen that rajnikanth was the one who made a robot but something went wrong or some other people put some command of destruction then the machine which was going to be the uh, most helpful assistant reached to a Uh, reached to a situation when it caused destruction so if the programmer has thought of destructing anything the command may create a world disaster too so there are many challenges of ai in front of us and one is human expert are essential be it designing programming or operating ai we need human experts so how to get those human experts and those human experts who are always uh, thinking of positive about humanity 
that is very important then who is going to watch keep a vigilant watch on ai's function that is also a very big challenge developing ai ethics as we talk about bioethics we talk about uh, there is an environment there is a kind of society and the kind of emotions so what are the rules which should be followed for that so that no destruction happens so when we are talking about bioethics in the same way artificial intelligence ethics is also very very important and there is a need a challenge to develop it we know that we uh, we have dealt with humans human dealing with human that relationship has always been there now we are in a situation where we humans have to deal with machines we have to deal with artificial intelligence and establishing this cordial relationship is again a challenge in case ai is impacting or having a negative impact on humans and society that is going to be a big challenge and as we know we were talking about strong ai once there was whatever is being feeded into the machine the machine is only commanding only following the commands but slowly and slowly with the new innovations and the advent and the advance in the technology the intelligent ai can now take decision by itself and it can exhibit a convergent behavior which is uh, which will not be good for humanity and we also have a challenge of the need of an accountable explainable and unbiased ai who is is going to be accountable who is going to explain if there is any negative impact of ai and there should be no biasness these are the different challenges of ai and how can we overcome that that is basically when we say ai ethics human should be always able to intervene and oversee every decision that the software makes ai is going to be Uh, a very integral part of our lives but ultimately we should always decide and we sh uh, the humans who has created it should always be in a position to intervene and oversee it in the same way when ever there are data being collected by ai ai systems a system need to be uh, developed in which these data are secure and they are not just accessible to everyone now it is many times we see that we see that aadhar has to be linked with our uh, phone that has to be linked with our banks and sometimes we see that our whenever we are we go for a grocery shopping or any kind of shopping they always ask for our phone numbers all everyone in the internet in the university web page or university website our numbers are there and these all are interrelated many times we see many many kinds of scams too so the personal data be it the personal data of patients or be it the data of uh, of uh, consumers any kind of data should not be accessible to everyone and anyone who is operating who is programming and who is designing and operating the ai they should be able to explain the decision their ai systems make and services provided by ai should be available to all no biases that only people who are able to uh, uh, able to pay for it or are in a higher social strata or higher economic or educational strata are able to uh, use the services provided by ai ai system should be sustainable and it should always enhance positive social change it is going to bring social change the whole society and the humanity is going to change as we have seen in previous time for when for the first time the wheel was uh, invented and developed okay it made a huge change in the same way uh, uh, when the industries uh, the industrialization started it again made a huge change in the same way ai system is will also make a huge change but it needs to be sustainable they should be auditable too when we are talking about energy audit uh, we always talk about the company audit educational audit academic audit green audit in the same way ai should also be auditable so that whenever there is any negative impact it should not only be acknowledged that why it has been so and it should always be reported in advance too and ai must be equipped with human sensibility because we all know that technology is to serve us technology is being utilized by us to make our life more easier and not to manipulate human beings and our society
so uh, these were some uh, suggestions as given by bio uh, ethics and related to that that is intelligent ethics too has to be developed so thank you thank, thank you for you. patient listening thank you very much katarina nothing is left now to be said or understood you have said it very explicitly Eugenia, Madam Eugenia Alman, we are very eagerly waiting for your inputs. Eugenia, please, because you Hello. are a member Hello. of the UCA. Thank yes. you. Thank you yes. very much. Thank you. I I uh, I enjoyed the the presentation very much, and uh, so that uh, it it is. I think. Uh, if not the the most urgent, uh, we uh, is a need for human beings. Can we distinguish between the uh, the AI, which is uh, which is uh, helpful to humanity, and and uh, computer programming, which is not helpful to humanity? And I think that that, that I I don't feel. As the, personally, I don't feel as though I'm separate from the from the program. I, I feel that my life is is a flow of programming. I'm not a program, computer programmer myself, but I understand the principle of um, of complex systems and sentient systems. And what I like to do is find out if we can. Uh, find the distinct but it seems to me that there uh, there is there is uh, also we can we can classify those uh, sub programs or subroutines of, of of AI that are destructive to humanity we can see that they're also destructive to AI they're self-destructive in many aspects because as we said, we have to have people to operate the AI, and if people are harmed, then they're not going to be able to uh, to polish it and to help it to, to function more securely. So, I, I wonder if there if we can discern uh, artificial stupidity. Is there an artificial stupidity versus AI? For instance, yes. apparently. And even under the Earth Constitution, there is a continuity of, of military practice. Apparently, it's necessary as part of the process in the Constitution. Uh, militaries can continue to exist through the first operative stage, according to Article 17. So uh, what can't happen, what is not permitted, is for... Uh, is for members, people that are, are promoting the Earth Constitution, to use weapons of mass destruction against other members who are promoting the Earth Constitution. And that's that's a general, what it's one of the things that it says generally. So uh, I'm almost finished, but uh, what I would uh, what I would want to do is identify programs that encourage competitive militarism, which I think is, is not conducive to, to, to human uh, living, uh, uh, profitable militarism. I think that these are things that we need to, to, to go beyond. We need to understand that uh, I think uh, Isaac Asimov had principles of robotics. And it, it appears to me that if we're recognizing rights, that artificial intelligence has the right to not be programmed to do stupid things. And, and in the sense that it uh, that that right can be protected and there can be the enforceability of that right, the judiciability of that right, uh, then that is all of our intelligence together. 
Now, so now, thank you very much, Eugenia. You're quite welcome. I've been enjoying this very much. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, Eugenia. Now, hurriedly, I pass over to Honorable Dr. Dashora Ji for his expert inputs. Honorable Dashora Ji. Good evening. We welcome Everybody. you and please deliberate your honorable lecture. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Good evening, everybody. Uh, the topic for today's discussion is impact of AI on humanity. The very significant and central word is humanity, not the technology and its development. I have very carefully listened to the three earlier speakers. It is true that the artificial intelligence was imagined by Allen in 1956 and later on it got strength by Ella Jadik who developed the concept of fuzzy logic. It started uh, more in popularity in the year 1970. Artificial intelligence as of today, the development of artificial intelligence can be studied in four types. And first is reactive artificial intelligence as we see in computer games. It has no memory because whatever chess we are playing, the computer doesn't remember the earlier moves. Next, second stage is use of past memory. In using or computer is using through artificial intelligence in a programmed manner, the past memories. And we can understand that it is in the example of self-driven cars. The third stage of artificial intelligence comes when we deal with the emotions. And at third stage, it has just started interfering. Artificial intelligence has not yet been able to create emotions. And fourth, it is yet to be imagined sense of self-awareness. As a human being for humanity, I think that the self-awareness is the very basic and fundamental issue in one's life. As I understand that human being is the best creation of God in this universe. And the bestness, the level of best in the human being should remain at its disposal and it is the logic with him, the intelligence with him. The human being is best because it is intelligent, in my opinion. And the intelligent human being is because of its intelligence, using its own intelligence, it is creating its uh, imitation and for that the knowledge in science and engineering making intelligent use of machines to make human life easier but it is not humanity human life is different humanity is different I understand that for artificial intelligence, we need to learn machine language, coding, neural networking, data mining, all those sciences which can deal with data and dichotomy and take some decision based on some algorithms. And we have advanced with the help of it, we have just 
move towards automation and we are creating mundane helps for the tasks to be taken up by the human being artificial intelligence has come up to a level where its effect on our life is symbiotic it augments our ease it increases our capabilities and capacities the various dimensions mentioned by professor talisra and professor unial are really relevant professor unial while describing the different dimensions and applications of artificial intelligence has very clearly recommended the ethical aspects of using artificial intelligence and she very rightly recommended that ethical aspect should be governed created and implemented but is it possible whatever legally acceptable approved frameworks we, they are in society there is in the um, in who they are not being implemented properly how can we be in a position to ensure that artificial intelligence ethic ethical aspects will be implemented i i just quote one example uh, the she has just mentioned that uh, in medical care artificial intelligence has a very tremendous uh, scope and certainly it has but when comes ethical aspects i just uh, want to know that in how many of the cases health sciences declaration and uh, its uh, ethical aspects are being considered in developing a drug we know it in how many cases doctors are really treating a patient as a human being he himself as a human being and the patient is a human being but it is not so and when we know that when use of sophisticated instruments comes the treatment of a patient is out of the pocket or out of the reach of an ordinary person so artificial intelligence has i tell you that in technologically if we want to develop it it has many areas it has a speech recognition pattern recognition it has data mining data safety image processing computer modeling complex modeling and i i i we can say that it is trying to become or human being is trying to make some pseudo god out of artificial intelligence that is anything will be done by the with the help of artificial intelligence now by the machines and certainly we are successful in it we have landed at the moon in the, that too in the dark zone but i want to know whether at any level artificial intelligence has been able to create love in human being love is the component of humanity affection in the human being it is needed it is a part of humanity without love and affection no human being is a human being compassion can any machine feel compassionate to anybody any situation help can an, any machine take a decision to help so much without instructions sympathy apathy and to we, we want to serve a needy person we have seen the case of uh, lockdown our people help others india help other nations it was help to needy people can artificial intelligence take such decisions no one in india slept hungry in lockdown government of india supplied ration to everybody every family it was not the impact of artificial intelligence it was the impact of the duty 
It was the impact of the love and affection and concern to the people of the India. Can artificial intelligence create emotions in human being? Because our topic is humanity. So I am just focusing on the humanity. Artificial intelligence can reduce our time, can save us uh, our drudgery, can relieve us from our drudgery and uh, hard work. But is it not going to create some? and number of new problems in human beings life. I, I am not against the artificial intelligence, but I, I am not in the, on the position that artificial intelligence is the only solution. The, I want that our very fundamental value system that survey Bhavantu Sukhina can artificial intelligence ensure it. Vishwa Bhavityakam Needham, can artificial intelligence ensure it? Matravat Pardareshu Pardravi Suloshtavat Atmurat Sarabhuteshu Ya Peshati Sapandita. Can artificial intelligence imbibe, by, imbibe such values in our young masses? We, we can see the impact of all these things, the modern developments on the rearing and development of our children. We see the example of Kota. Cases of suicides. Can we ever think of addressing such issues through artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence can help us to reach to Moon, Mars, Venus. We have established ourselves at a point in between Sun and Earth where gravitational force is zero. There are five such points, and we have reached to one point, one such point. But when the topic concerns humanity, then I am, I am afraid. We need to, can we think that a person, when some developments in image processing has made, I'll remain at my home, laying on bed. If I have some work in bank, my one image will go to the bank. Another image will go to club. I'll be remaining in my home. Right now, my image is uh, talking with all of you. Your image is talking with me. But is it a real substitute of a physical meeting where we are meeting uh, and uh, enjoying and discussing these things? Friends, we have to address the problem laterally. We, we can very easily move centrally that these are the advantages of artificial intelligence. I can enlist 10, you can enlist 20. But how it is going to affect humanity? Uh, Madam Munial has just uh, given a reference of 2025. Is it sufficient? What about 2030? What about 2025? Human being will remain there. Humanity is needed there also. Can a person get pleasure when he comes very tired from office and he meets his smiling child, his welcoming wife at home? Can machine welcome him that way? Can a child give him that pleasure? These are the questions to be addressed. Because I think that the time, time is... I think the time given by Madam is over. I would only say that the, as a human being, we should address the problem from different point of view also. We cannot come comment and uh, conclude that it is the only way. It is one of the ways to create facilities, to generate knowledge. 3,000 million Beds of data being created every minute in this world. This artificial intelligence is going to mine data and collect my personal information against me or checking my personal life.
should I allow any third agency to govern my life? Is it a part of humanity? Where is my freedom? Where is my choice? Where are my value systems? And I live in India. I am proud of being an Indian. And as an Indian, I am proud of my culture, my traditions. Can artificial intelligence write Mahabharat, Ramayana, Vedas, Purans, Jain Agams? Of course, uh, Chat GPT is creating some lessons for you. Bing is creating when you give him some idea, it will give you some text. But can artificial intelligence create Kadambari? These are the questions. We need literature. We need art. We need uh, emotions. We need smile on the face of everybody. We need love. Can artificial intelligence bring tears in the eyes of people who is suffering from the death of this very near person? It is emotion. Artificial intelligence cannot create it. So we need to address the problem from the topic selected. That is the impact of artificial intelligence on humanity. The information, very useful information, very current pertinent information has been generated and created and provided here. But still, I have some uh, different position on the topic and I have just uh, expressed my views. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Dr. Dashwara. You have very rightly said that fundam fundamental value system. That is why we educators will always be there in order to maintain the fundamental value system. And AI will be used as a tool, tool for usage, tool for all the benefits that AI is giving. We are not replacing parents with AI. We are not replacing children with AI. So, sir, for sustainable development, we need the fundamental value system. The emphasis has to be there. We agree with it. Thank you very much for giving us this idea of value system. It has always been with us, we educators. And AI will be used as a tool. And at the outset, before I call Vasivji, I would be putting only in one minute to the whole house that in order to maintain humanity through AI, we only need three criteria. Yes, only three criteria. Responsible AI development, number one. Responsible is the word that has to be emphasized upon which particularly Honorable Dashoda Ji has said. So when AI is developed by human being, there should be responsible AI development, number one criteria. Number two criteria, there should be proper regulations. Without regulations, the whole, uh, what do I say, the whole technology is going to go heavier. And as somebody said, if there was a movie and it led to destruction, it may lead to destruction. So there has to be regulation and it has to be prepared. And United Nations or places like your One Earth uh, institution has to come up with regulations such that it is all good for all human beings. Number three, there should be ethical considerations, which even Madam Rina has uh, very well explained, and Dr. Dashoda also, time and again, he emphasized. So I believe that these three points will be the resolution of the day, of the day when we are discussing AI and human considerations.